Alright, so normally I'm not a big fan of these Q&A videos. I think that why would someone give a fuck about my life unless they're thirsty as fuck or just losers who don't know how to socialize. Plus, I'm not one to get a lot of questions. However, I felt like um, I've had enough history of making videos on YouTube without long hiatuses that I could earn myself some questions that would be interesting for a Q&A. Now, things that I recommend, let's try to be simple, socioeconomics, politics, how I came to some of my ideas, some minor viewpoints on current events. Now, for personal stuff, I'm not going to answer thirsty questions that look like they're either from nerds who don't know how to socialize, so they ask me like, what kind of building do I live in? But, if you ask me small questions like the way I relate to other people and the kind of shit I have to deal with in my hometown, family, stuff. As long as it's getting into the macro points and not the micro points. And it's something you know will be entertaining to hear, then that'd be cool. Other stuff I can recommend. If you ask me about music, I'll probably tell you my favorite bands, my favorite um, songs and albums. What I think about this band, this music industry, as it's... what, what How do I think it's... Make me feel? Is it great? Is it um, mediocre? There's a lot of stuff that uh, I'll be willing to speak about. Now, with that in mind, use full discretion. And you can ask a question outside those things. Those are just my recommendations. It'll keep things simple. Like, Wrestling. You can also ask questions about wrestling because I made some videos on wrestling. Granted, my WrestleMania 28 match card didn't match the 29 match card at all. And to be honest, that could be both a good thing or a bad thing. Cause I saw WrestleMania 29. It wasn't that great. But I don't think my prediction on hindsight, would have been that much better either. So, go ahead, you know, submit your questions on the comments, and I hope they're going to be interesting. If they're boring, I'm probably just going to ignore them and switch to the ones that I like.